Hello, let's discuss what happens to the knee joint if the meniscus damage isn't operated on. It's crucial to understand that there are various injuries when being diagnosed, such as a first or second degree injury on the MRI. There's no need for our involvement. It doesn't require any surgery, it's just a finding. The finding describes changes in the meniscus as age-related changes over time menisci change and there is a loss of their certain elasticity. The MRI shows therefore if you've been described a first or second degree injury, don't immediately rush into a surgical intervention. However, if the MRI describes a third A or third B degree, then you should already discuss it with a doctor who specializes in knee arthroscopy. A doctor has enough experience to independently review the MRI disc, compare it with the patient's complaints, if there is pain or limited movements, limping pain during descent while sitting, if fluid is accumulated. All of this is compared with the MRI, the clinical picture, and the patient's complaints. When damage is confirmed, we perform an arthroscopy surgery, entering the joint with a small camera, finding the damage, and removing the meniscus within healthy tissues. We see the mechanically torn part of the meniscus is pinched. It becomes trapped between the thigh and the lower leg, causing mechanical irritation. This is like a grain of sand getting stuck in a gear, causing blockages when bending and extending, and this mechanical irritation damages the cartilage, the thigh and the lower leg which cannot be restored. Therefore, the more extensive the damage, the more such impacts occur, the more wear and tear there is on the loaded surface where the meniscus gets trapped. In time, these injuries lead to wearing out of the cartilage, which develops into osteoarthritis, requiring a more radical solution in the future. And if this damage is accompanied by swelling of the knee joint, where fluid accumulates due to inflammation in the knee joint, synovitis develops, then this significantly speeds up. Roof wear and excess fluid negatively affect its condition. Its nutrition can be compromised. Meanwhile, doctors can treat the knee joint by injecting hormones into it. A drug is injected that simply puts out the inflammation without eliminating the root cause. There is a mechanical irritant, however. We only eliminate the symptom of inflammation. It's like breaking a signal bulb during a fire and pretending there is no fire. These combinations of mechanical irritation and hormone therapy over several years can lead to very negative consequences, that is, the progression of roof wear. Nowadays, there is overdiagnosis in all areas, with surgical intervention for the first or second degree which do not require surgery. There is also the extreme case of this patient. There is a mechanical irritation confirmed by MRI. A diagnosis is made of the real third A, third B degree, however. The patient ignores the damage and doesn't undergo surgery, relying on the fact that a chiropractor, an osteopath, or for some reason, a traumatologist, does not recommend surgical intervention. Therefore, it is recommended to consult a doctor who specializes in this narrow field, arthroscopy, who can show examples of other surgical interventions and demonstrate what a damaged meniscus looks like, then you will logically and mentally understand what it is. The damage requires intervention, no cartilage protectors, intra-articular administration of hyaluronic acid drugs, growth factors can't eliminate this damage. This is mechanical damage. It requires surgical intervention if there are clinical manifestations, especially those confirmed by MRI. X-ray examinations do not show changes in the meniscus. I wish you a mindful approach to resolving this complex issue. Discuss with your doctor all possible options. What will happen if you undergo surgery or not? What clinical manifestations did the doctor identify during the diagnosis? Is surgery required specifically in your case? Listen to yourself, listen to the doctor, and make informed decisions.